Hello MacWarriors, how's it going? And welcome to your daily dose of MacWarrior Online. Today guys, we are playing the Blood Ass because I wanted to play something with an Ultra Auto Cannon 20 and Medium Pulse Lasers. I wanted to play a Clan Brawler and this one here is a beauty. It can pump out so much damage in such a quick succession that it's just absolutely insane. So let's talk about the build before we dive into the games where I'll show you what this build is all about. As you can see, this is a little bit all over the place and that's because we have limited, um, not hard points, but limited slots in the mech. Let me start with the main weaponry. We have our Ultra Auto Cannon on the right shoulder with a nice high mount that is really good for peeking over terrain. But keep in mind guys, we have these bunny ears sticking out, these uh, weapon mounts up here. Uh, they are above cockpit level. That means that the enemies might be able to see you before you can see them because your cockpit is here. Which means be careful when you know that there's somebody waiting behind a piece of terrain and you're sticking out your bunny ears because then your side torsos will be destroyed quite easily. So they have a benefit, but they are also kind of a big, big hitbox. Keep that in mind. We also have the medium pulse lasers and they are on the left side of the mech. I put them on the left side also as well as the left arm and uh, that means we can alternate between the left right punch combination and uh, you know we have something that is ammo related on the right shoulder we have something that is completely um, um, ammo unrelated on the left side the laser weapons but they also generate a quite good chunk of heat and therefore we just put a lot of heat sinks into the mag we have 23 clan double heat sinks on this mag and it's absolutely gorgeous what we also have is a clan ECM we have a targeting computer mark one we have an AMS and some AMS ammo here as well and that's because I wanted I needed something that is um, quite um, slot efficient but also gives us some kind of value because again I if I took the AMS out and the AMS ammo I'd had a um, one and a half tons left over I would gladly put another heatsink in here but then at the same time I have nothing else to do with the last half ton so I was deciding to go for an AMS as well doesn't really help much, but it helps the team a little bit. Because um, you, you also have an ECM. I mean, ECM really helps you not getting targeted in the first place. But uh, that AMS also helps you against like SRMs, uh, MRMs. It's something. It's helpful. So it's not really against uh, just LRMs here. Uh, and again, the rest is ammunition and heatsink. So very, very straightforward brawling build. Let me talk about the skills before we dive into the games here. I was going for the firepower tree with the classic laser vomit build. I wanted the heat gen nodes very, very much here. Cooldown is super helpful. Range is helping a little bit. And then, of course, the laser duration nodes for the medium pulse lasers. On, on the right side, we get the uh -huh, ultra auto cannon. Come on, come on, click that. The Ultra Auto Cannon Jam Duration Notes, not the LBX Notes, and then Magazine Capacity to help you out with more longevity. Although I gotta say, since we have so many tons, I think it's five tons of ammo here. Uh, it's actually four tons of ammo. With four tons, it's good to have Magazine Capacity. With five tons, I don't think you need it, and you can put the, the points somewhere else, like more cooldown, more heat management, or more armor. And yes, I said it is a brawler, but at the same time, I wanted to punch as much as possible with this build here. And I was relying mostly on positioning, I would say, and my ECM not being targeted, not being the one that attracts the fire. Therefore, I was not going for maximum survivability. These were just some leftover points. What I wanted more is more heat management, so I can shoot more often. And then, of course, the ECM nodes on top of double cool shot plus a UAV. And that's the build, everybody. I wish you all a lot of fun in the two games that are coming now. And if you have that, then don't forget to leave a rating, subscribe to the channel for more daily content, and now it's time to hit the battlefield. All right, first game of the day. We are playing Domination on the Forest Colony, and I would really like to hold the left side, so let's ask the team, guys. Guys, so shall we just defend the left side, like um, the Golf 6 area? Question is given, answer is coming now. Or maybe not. All right. So, yeah, uh, I was asking people. Nobody responded really, except for Chippy, who says, "Hey, it's Baradul." That doesn't really help, guys. Communicate with each other because that helps you getting an idea of the the things that are in the heads of the other people. So, huh. Well, then uh, I do believe that we're gonna go to where the team goes. So no left side. We're gonna go possibly to the right side. Horrible tornado, rotato, whatever. Let's go ahead and roll with the punches here. So we have a bunch of skirmishers, a Stormcrow, Thanatos, Thanatos, okay, Summoner, as well as some other people. We're getting horribly blocked by our big assault max here, but we just gotta go where the rest of the team goes. So that's what we're gonna be doing. We have a Corsair here, seems to be a broadside, the broadsword. <laughs> Man, did you know that Hero Quest has been uh, has been revamped as, as a new edition, like 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 basically uh, a re-release of Hero Quest? God, I was so hyped about that. But anyway, uh, that reminds me of the broadsword. Who is here? 
Nobody, nobody here on this rock anymore. Means that they have rotated away from it already? Seems like it. Mm, I'm gonna make a slight, a very slight push forward. I'm the guy on the front line. Uh, me no likey, but there's a Warhammer. On a flank. All right, let's turn around, guys. Turn around, turn around. Come on, let's get them. They, they are just coming in one by one now. We can kill them easily. Let's go to Hotel 6. I, I know I'm getting shot in the bot, but that's fine. Just do it. Come on. Everybody's moving. That's so good. So let's get those. Ugh, come on. Let me get into a position. A position is good. Oh, the crap ran directly into my stream of bullets. All right. Just hold it, guys. Hold it. Keep shooting. Don't care about your positioning so much. We are here to support. Guys, just hold it. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna push slightly point. forward. On the Marauder, India. All right, so the flank is basically being completely, completely held here. Holy shit, that's everybody. Oh, and that's a jam on my auto cannon. All right, cool. So we have pushed him back. That's great, guys. Let's make a slight push forward. Around the corner. Crap is gonna be. Where's my ultra auto cannon? I pressed the left, uh, the right mouse button twice. Nothing came out. Why? I have questions here. There it is again. Pressing harder. Legs on the crabbo. And now he cannot go anywhere anymore. And now we're hot. And that means somebody else is gonna take the crab. That's oh so good. I love that firing line, guys. It is amazing. It's a black nine in the back. We definitely hit him hard. And um, again, it's just a matter of holding, eh, holding the line here. Okay, okay, okay. Roughneck coming in. My left arm doesn't seem that good anymore. Um, I believe enemies are either making a counter push, which is coming in now, or they will try to flank us. Again, going for the legs here, because that guy was basically, basically legged in the first place. Yeah, again, they are making a, a desperate, desperate attempt here. Ooh, that's a desperate attempt of my arm. Okay, that's actually a pretty good attempt, now that I see it. So, we will be falling back here, because my mech took way too much damage already. But you can see this is working. Oh, that's not great. Trying to, again, be all the way behind. Nobody's really flanking. That's crazy. I was expecting that from my enemies here. All right, let's go for the Jack of Blacks let's there. Flank. Let's go for whatever is there. Is that? That's a Huntsman. Okay. So we can still hold this for a little longer. That Blood Ass has to go, guys. He's almost down. Hotel, please. Come on, help me out. All right, somebody got him. No, wait, he's just shut down. That was bad. I didn't see that correctly. Anyway, without 800, we took 700. Let's see if my team can just finish that. Oh man, everybody is so damaged, guys. Keep it up. That's a seven and six. We have the kill advantage. And I mean, again, I do believe that our enemies are so messed up. And this summoner really should go in now. Help out the team. He still has armor. And he still has all of the weapon systems. I mean, the missiles are flying. The Stormcrawl trying to defend himself, but again, he has a lot of armor. I don't know why he's playing it so conservatively. He's just getting he's just getting shut down by the people who try to get an angle on him. Instead, I think just trying to go more offensive, being uh, able to hit more targets and, and get more damage done is, I believe, the better the better approach towards it here. Uh, the Thanatos, on the other hand, absolutely, absolutely viable that he is taking it slow at just peaking. Let's see. Catapult. Ugh, yeah, that's his last shot. That is not that great. So it's seven and seven. Huntsman also completely down. Dude, there's a guy on the right side. Go seven. Oh, down he goes. Guys, share your armor. Catapult K2 coming in with heavy PPCs, ER medium lasers, but no shot is taken. Come on, guys, do something, please. It has to be done. All right, if we want to win this, we got to make something happen now. You're just giving him time to regroup and figure out a plan, guys. The more time you spend on the battlefield, the more those guys have an... Great. Uh, have an ability to, again, reconsider their life decisions. And they are coming in. That's what I meant. They have they have snuck in, coming in from the flank, the summon on the heavy fire. But there is, again, the Roughneck. So damaged in the core. He just needs one good hit and down he goes. So, ball your forces together and get him down. Not the Cicada. Go for the other guy. All right, the other guy is down. Perfect. Cicada was also horribly damaged. Look at this. Dude, your weapon! Come on! Yes! Please! There has been a kill on the other side. I mean, down goes the Cicada. 
Your mediums left on the lacerator. He is without the LRMs now, without any streaks. So lots of weapons lost. The catapult also doesn't look great anymore. Lost one of his heavy PPCs. And I still, I don't, still don't get why nobody is communicating, why nobody is saying anything like, come on guys, let's do something, let's go, let's do that, or kind of group up, come yeah, on, I'm I have like armor, I'm gonna go first and you can rely on me. It's not happening right now. Guys, information is ammunition, you know that. So give each other some information and, and you know, figure out a plan. Communicate. That's what I'm saying here. So, there's a guy, you better get shooting now, man. He's just waiting, come on. He's engaged, that means that he's not shooting you in return. Go for his right leg. Yeah, that was something. That's good. Um, Our summoner should really tank a bit more because he's the only one with armor left. If you just go now, together, you can just overwhelm them. Push in and you got it. But that's just my opinion. I guess, again, nothing is happening. This game could have been over 10 minutes ago. I mean, not really, but you get the point. And again, they just gave the enemies uh, the possibility to snipe out one of our weaker targets. Our Stormcrow is not able to go anywhere because our summoner is not tanking for the team. And he's just jumping around trying to figure out an angle. Man, this is not Call of Duty here. This is Mac Warrior Online. You got massive armor plates around your mech. You can take damage. Do it! Oh, man. What is going on here? Are we losing this game? This could have been, again, it could have been an easy win. Holy crap. Guys, do something. You're just giving your enemies time to shoot you and you're not even retaliating. What is that? Holy crap, this is hard. I mean, it's not that hard, but it's kind of hard to watch right now. I mean, our Lacerator, again, he's just waiting for an opportunity. He's trying to peek, but then again, he's not able to because nobody is taking point. Holy crap. Where's he looking at? This guy standing here. Oh no, there he comes. Okay, never mind. I was confused. He finally got somebody. I mean, it's great. He's snatching the kills in the end. But wow. Just wow. Now the Huntsman. ATMs and one leg lost. Let's see what he is doing. The two medium lasers of the Lacerator are completely useless in this scenario. Completely. Not doing anything because he cannot get into the fight. Wow, 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 wow. Haven't talked to us in ages? Man, I was I was talking to you like the minute ago or two. Ah, do it. Do it now. That's what I'm saying. Okay. Just underrun this guy. Alright, that's your arm. Alright. One ATM down. Yeah, I think he got him now. And now our our lacerator can come in and help out with the medium laser. So let me quickly switch perspective. Maybe he's even getting the kill. So that is definitely a win now because. Yeah, this Huntsman had no weapons anymore, luckily, but wow, it took so long. Ha! <laughs> Don't want to be condescending here, I'm just, you know, trying to point out what is going on on the battlefield and, and uh, you know, tell you my perspective of the game, but um, we won in the end, so there's that. And uh, again, that firing line, it was a great deal of fun. Turning around there, best decision in the game, I would say. Absolutely. So, what did we go do here? We got 12 assists, 2 KMDDs, 800 damage done, 700 taken. We got uh, th uh, 4 components destroyed. And that's the first game. Let's go over to the next one and see how this will go down. Alright, second game of the day. We are playing the Mining Collective and we are playing Domination. We could technically, we technically, the hold the Echo 5 area with the Assault Mix that we have here in the spawn. But, I don't know. I don't know if I can trust my people here or if they are, you know, running away to the right side trying to NASCAR. We will see that in a second. So far, people are making a move straight forward, which is absolutely fantastic. Um, yeah, I mean, we're fanning out a little bit. Yeah, I'm just gonna hold this here. I'm gonna hold this and we're gonna hope for the best. So, Heat Vision, because that helps us with uh, seeing the enemies a little bit quicker. And a UAV would be so good, by the way. A UAV that's a bit, um, afar, like, on the Akuchita spot, not directly on the ramp. Yeah, I mean, it's helping, but it kind of also gives away our position. That means, oh yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Shall we counter push this? Shall we take top? Now? I mean, now it's maybe too late. Great artillery strike, by the way. So, Supernova is trying to go somewhere. Okay, okay, okay. I mean, they are baiting a lot of stuff out of our friends there, out of our enemies. Our frenemies. Yeah, let's push over. Let's go. Let's do it. Echo 4, guys. We make a push happen. Call your targets. Oh, boy. Oh, that guy is so messed up. We're gonna try to kill him now. 
And we got him. Keep pushing, guys. Behind it. That's it. We're gonna win this now. Holy shit! That is so yeah. intense! Alright, that's also pretty hard. Also, somebody shot me in the back. Big time. On the supernova. Holy macaroni. I, um, I am getting shot from every angle right now. That's not great. Especially this guy in the back. Over there. This will has to go. And he's probably gonna take my Ultra Auto Cannon 20. Is he? Why did the stop, uh, the, the push stop? That's the stop push, yeah. Why did the push stop? Why is the Timberwolf not dead? Let's change that. There we go. All right, Die Wolf in the back. Uh, I'm turning around to get the Cataphract now. <laughs> that is so great. All right, let's get the Fract Echo 5. Pushing over. Okay, ooh, the jams. The jams are a problem. Oh, 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 where's the follow-up, guys? Come on, help me out, please. I'm gonna go down here, but that is absolutely fine. Perfectly fair in my situation, I'd say. Holy crap, that was great. But we got the frack. Come on, guys, keep pushing. Oh, no, you're dying because the dire wolf was still there. And the push stopped. No, not great. Come on, guys. I thought, here's the thing. I thought, I, I saw a light make um, earlier on the dire wolf and i was like okay the dire wolf the long range daka dire wolf is completely busy right now so i can go in turns out that our light mech kind of disengaged or got killed in the meantime and then the dire wolf was like oh look at that there's a guy on the ramp let's just go all in and get him down but that's perfectly fine guys we made such a great coordinated push up and then uh you know, sometimes, sometimes it's all about coordination, sometimes it's all about communication. That's your takeaway for today's video. Just call something, get the confirmation that something is gonna happen from your friends, and then just execute it. And I mean, execute it. Let's take a look at how this game goes down in the end here. We have one more enemy, the Kilo guy there, and I think we dealt like 650, 700 damage, something like that. We also took a lot. Man, this mech, it just bursts enemies down like nothing. So, let's see. We have an MRM Ultra Auto Cannon 10 Thanatos against an LBX MRM and Medium Laser Bushwhacker. The Waka is definitely the better matchup here, especially since the Thanatos is already damaged. However, he has the power of friendship. What can I say? Friends coming in, helping out. Now we're going to switch over to another perspective because there's one more enemy on the board. Let's see who it is. Uh-huh, Shadow Cat, as per usual. It's either an Aki Cheetah or a Shadow Cat in the end. Okay. Or a stealth flea. Stealth fleas are also very common lately. So, Shadowcat where? I've got the CT open. Target spotted. Oh yeah, Delta 3 guys. Echo 3, Delta 3. Go there and kill him. Let's uh, switch perspective again because we have an active fight going on right here. Yeah. With an archer and SRMs. Okay. So what is the Shadowcat running? That's the question. He's still behind the boxes. Behind the boxes. Oh, behind you now. There he is. Yeah. Oh no. Uh, however, he got shot in the leg and now he's pinned down. He's probably gonna take the archer, but we have enough people on him already so that this is gonna be an untimely end for him. Didn't get legged by a friend. He masked his leg or overheated it. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Good job, team. That was amazing. I really like that push. That was so, so cool to see. And yeah, again, in the fight, we were doing our job. We were absorbing damage like a boss. We were dealing damage like a boss. And now we just need to wait for the circle to be captured. So right, the, the game can finish. Well done, team. Seeing games like that, where I'm feeling like I did my part, I'm not even mad that I died early. And uh, that's pretty cool, man. That's absolutely insane. Now, let's see. Oh, it's 618. I, I saw something different here. 751 damage taken, though. We got two killing blows, six assists, two kill most damage dealt with that. We got two components destroyed. And then, my friends, was your daily dose for all today. That was the brawling blood asp. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, as always, don't forget to leave a rating. Subscribe to the channel for more daily content. And I hope to see you on the battlefield. Goodbye.